Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Torzu, which is a new Nintendo Switch emulator. And yes, you probably guessed it, it's another fork of Yuzu. So as you know, these emulators keep popping up and they keep getting taken down by Nintendo. So Torzu appears to be the latest in the long line of emulators that Nintendo will probably take down. Firstly, go to the link in the description, which is Litux GitHub page, and then click on this Torzu button, and then scroll down, go to this releases section, and click on releases, and then this appears to be the latest version here. So we have a Windows build and Linux build. Choose whatever you want, but for this video, I'll be using Windows. And once you've extracted it, you should see this folder here. Now double click to open, and then next open yuzu.exe. Now, if you've had yuzu installed previously, Torzu should pick up all the configuration from your previous yuzu installation automatically. However, for this video, I'm just going to be going in fresh. So firstly, you'll see encryption keys are missing. Click on OK. Click on File, Open Yuzu folder. Once the Yuzu folder opens up, go to Keys, and then in the Keys folder, you need to copy and paste the prod keys and title keys. Now, I just want to make very clear, I cannot provide these keys to you. I cannot tell you where to get them from because there are legal ramifications if I do. Now, if you want these, either dump them from your Nintendo Switch system or just do a quick Google search. You'll find them in no time. Anyway, now we've put these here, we can close this folder, and I recommend you shut down Torzu and open it up again. And once you've reopened Torzu, we just need to do a little bit of configuration. Just go to Emulation and Configure. Go to System, change your language to whatever you want, change your region to your local region, time zone to, well, Auto, you could probably leave it there. Go to CPU, we can leave that to Auto. Graphics, I generally prefer to use Vulkan. And under Device, select your GPU. If you have multiple GPUs, select whichever one is the most modern and most powerful one you have. Ideally, a discrete GPU rather than an integrated one. If your computer is beefy, under Resolution, you're actually able to bump up the resolution to like 4K and beyond. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it at the native 720-1080. And go to Controls. And if you have a Bluetooth or USB control pad connected to your computer, you can then configure the buttons here. But I do recommend you plug in that controller before opening Torzu. So if you haven't done so yet, just shut down Torzu, plug in your controller or Bluetooth your controller, open up Torzu again, and then open this menu. Under input device, you'd want to select whichever controller you've got connected. So here I've got Xbox One, so that's the actual hardware I'm using. And then under connect controller, I would probably just leave it as pro controller because I think that's the best way to play Nintendo Switch games, to be honest. If you do need to reconfigure any of these buttons, just click it and then select the button on your controller. And then once you're happy, click on OK. And that's all the configuration pretty much done. So now let's add some games. And to do that, you can just double tap this giant yellow folder here. But if you have had Yuzu installed and configured successfully previously, you'll probably notice that all your games or all your previous folders would have automatically shown up. But anyway, just double tap this folder and then navigate to wherever your games are stored. And there we go. Now, in order to load up a game, all you need to do is double tap the game of your choice and it should begin loading. And there we go. It has begun loading. So currently it's in Windows mode, but if you want to make it full screen, just hit F11 on your keyboard and it should make it full screen. If F11 again, and it'll make it smaller. And also, if you'd like to adjust the graphics from 720p handheld mode to 1080p docked mode, just go down here where it says docked, just tap it once, and it'll switch the graphics to handheld. Tap it again, and it'll go to docked. So if you are playing a game and you're finding the graphics are maybe struggling a little bit, I would just switch this to handheld mode and that will reduce the graphics quality to a point where your computer might be able to handle it better. Anyway, that's how you install, configure and use Torzu. I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.